this song or poem um, was inspired by my students, particularly the kids who were in my uh, diversity club that I was the advisor of for a number of years, a few years. It's called Danny, Danny, Danielle. The roses envied the tall pines, so straight and tall, but the pines envied the bees who come to call. Lines you forgot on the school bus in a black leather diary passed around like a joke. Who's to say what you'll be? Danny, Danny, Danielle. A partner you had prom night. Oh, the romance safe in the dance, whispering shadows in the corners, sweet smiles and wine. Half a chance, touch and feel, mirrors down the hall. Oh, my, my, when to let go. Just let go. Blood flows. Nerves twitch and switch. Words drop. Don't stop pain. Don't you know? Danny? Danny? Danny Danielle? Left at the curb, walking home alone. Choices, choices. So much to decide. Clues left like notes in a bottle thrown at ebb tide. Who's going to read what's inside? Doctors? Doctors. Visions come, visions go. They tried so hard by the textbook. Oh, D, be only what your heart can know. Danny, Danny, Danielle, Danny, Danny, Danielle. This um, poem is entitled Create Space. Create space for your gratitude every day. Fill yourself with the grace of daily living. Give yourself the time to experience the magic of a restful reprieve from all the busyness. This is where the mystery lies within. The inner heartbeat connects us in a way that nothing else can. Feel the pulse, hear it thumping through the void. Know thyself in these linked moments. Take the leap of faith toward facing self. The knowledge comes forth, allowing closure. The knowledge comes forth, allowing change. Slow it down to visualize your choices. Push self to aloneness, finding recovery. Let your attention flourish to hear the signs placed carefully in the gardens of seeds sown. New beginnings reside here, opening doorways seemingly lost before. Deepen your breaths, finding the rhythms of the universe. The blueprint grids intersect, producing clear patterns across the sky of your mind. The pain in me today honors the pain in you. But more importantly, the hope and forgiveness in me honors all the hope and forgiveness in you. And I thank um, you for being part of this community today. And listening to these riveting, inspirational stories that we can take home with us. Thanks. Uh, this poem is called Over. It may take an engaging 30-something you talk with all evening who gets you imagining she likes you in a way no one has in years until she says how much you remind her of her grandfather. <laughs> or if that doesn't convince you, it may be a young doctor who apologetically gives you the dreaded diagnosis, then shrugs, embarrassed, and sheepish, like the teenager who bumped into the back of your car. If that doesn't do it, Maybe it'll be a day you're sitting with your grown children and see their worried expression, their fear, and know that they see what you've tried to dismiss. It may even be when you're watching The Wizard of Oz and this kid from Kansas is singing somewhere over the rainbow and you begin to cry. No one wants to think about dying piece by piece. 
or that your few remaining choices are being subtracted one by one, each subtraction added until the sum is zero. Tell the truth. Don't you tear up when you hear Judy Garland? Don't you wish there was somewhere over the rainbow? We'll both be awake tonight in the wee hours, wistful and wet-eyed, humming along. Thank you. <laughs> I'm making up for last year. I didn't get here last year at all, and I've been here the last two months in a row, so that's cool. Um, the song I'm, I selected today is called Riders of the Rail, and it's a song about the hobos. And the reason I'd like to sing it is because in May, it'll be the 100th birthday of Pete Seeger. Pete Seeger likes sing-along songs, and by chance, this one is a sing-along song. <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> So the song uh, comes in three parts. There's the verse, there's the pre-chorus where I tell you all the hobos' names that I met in 2011 when I went out to Brit, Iowa to celebrate their national convention. And then the last part, the, the chorus, is where you come in and it starts out on the road and then you reply and we'll go back and forth for about six lines. You'll pick up on it really quick, I think, I'm hoping. So uh, this is a story about uh, uh, our friends, the hobos. Every year, for over a century, they gather here beneath the tree eternal fire that burns free where the rails lead to Iowa. I was driving down Main Street with only two stops, got a dollar store and a barber shop at the edge of town, at the side of the tracks, it's where hobos go when they come back. Slow freight, then highball, land Mountain Dew. Mama Joe, Mad Mary, Serenity Sisters, too. Sunrise to Nightingale and a Gypsy Moon. Cannonball, Eddie, Depot, Debbie, they came here, too. On the road, on the rail, every year, never fails. Four winds blow. Flame is lit when the hobos come to the town of Brit. Hobos live the life of riders on the rail, worked town to town, telling their tales, chasing steam trains, always on the go, traveled in straight lines, much like the crow. Ironweed, Harmonica, Don, Ink Man, and Blackie, Hobo Spike, Trucker Phil, and Uncle Freddy. Minnesota Jewel shines under a blue moon. Boxcar Betty, Depot Debbie, they came here too. On the road, on the rail, every year never fails. Four winds blow, flame is lit. When the hobos come to the town of Brit, At the edge of town where the cornfields grow The hobos' markers stand row on row Laid to rest when they caught the westbound We honor them on this hallowed ground New York Slim, Connecticut Shorty, Santa Fe Jack Frog Stretch and the Preacher all came back. Fat Car Fank, Provington Kid, and Dante Ardu. Steam Train Maury, Utah Phillips, they came here too. 
On the road, on the rail, every year never fails. Four winds blow, flame is lit. When the hobos come to the town of Brit. When the hobos come to the town of Brit. Thank you. I've lately been writing a uh, one word titled Poems About Critters. <laughs> and this being a National Puppy Day, um, in honor of all dogs, I offer this poem as uh, from one of their kin. And please, if you're looking for a forever friend, please consider adoption. This is called Coyote. It is dark here, but this hint of moon betrays me tonight. Your headlights catch me and make my eyes shine. I stop here at the edge of this small patch of woods with the sound of your approach. You slow your pace, expecting me to bolt, but I stand firm. I fear nothing but my hunger. I stalk the small prey in hopes of returning to my den with a few mouthfuls for my kits. You do not sway me from my questing. I will show you my fearlessness by allowing you these moments. Behold my sleek beauty as I look you in the eye. See that I have kept warm and well fed. I am the hunter. My coat shines in this moonlight and is free of pest or mange. My tail is full of glory. I do not skulk. I ask nothing of you save your respect and the blessing of your absence. Kasr al Nil is a bridge that straddles the Nile. We've created a lot of bridges here today. Kasr al Nil. High on a balcony in Heliopolis, my husband sings with his siblings. Notes soar over the Sahara like birds trumpeting words, longing to return to their dove coat. Sun-drenched sky glares above. Pajama-clad neighbors with tin bowls by fool. Brown beans slow cooked overnight, tented by flatbread and goat cheese. Guavas are piled in pyramids. We eat cactus fruit laden with stones. Roots explode from rich soil like prisoners re released. Blinking in disbelief, they crane green necks in search of light. I grow where my birth blood was never spilled. Our green fiat travels the Corniche, crosses the Casrel Neil Bridge. Sun silvers the ancient river, splashes gold on wheat fields. Aish is the bread of life. A family eats sandwiches under the shade of a mango tree. Young son strays, dizzy with fruit's heady sweet scent. Tiny fingers rip mango's rotted skin, stuff pulp mash between eager brown lips. Red ants assault his tongue. River of tears, the silent scream innocence makes. Outside the embassy, soldiers stand with rifles, bayonets pointed skyward. They tackle a man, grab his camera, rip out exposed film. No tourist understands angry Arabic. President Sadat's face is plastered on walls. Corner kiosk sells Cleopatra cigarettes and cold drinks. We sit in rickety rattan chairs. Orange Fanta lingers on my lips. Geckos perch on branches, bug-eyed like aliens. A delivery boy on a wobbly bicycle calls out, Allo, madame, 
Welcome to my country. Turbaned men, women in colorful hijabs and small errand boys exchange good mornings. News shared, problems aired, they move on with hope, rubber sandals slapping their heels like applause. Lotus flowers close at sunset, sink beneath water's surface. Morning rays will coax them open to full bloom again. A shot rings out. The boy rises, straight-legged on bike pedals. Microbus belches smoke and backfires. No worry, madame. Have happy day. Thank you. Are we bodies that have spirits? Or are we spirits that have bodies? I think all the gods we seek all around us speak. All the gods we seek became us. So we could breathe and touch and learn to feel love. Because love is so sweet in flesh and blood. Enjoy the flood. If you only knew who you truly are, you would be amazed. A single drop of your precious blood holds the fire of a billion stars. Every beat of your heart through the sea of galaxies sparkling through your veins. Every breath we take widens, widens the expanding arc of our soft repose. If gods could envy, they would choose to be you. And why would they not? Just one of your idle thoughts creates entire worlds of possibilities. The tiniest strand of an imaginary wandering spins a whole new universe for us to explore. And this life, this thin slice of time, all share is but one leaf in the vast forest of who you truly are. Those who know call this your soul. They say it carries you and feeds your dreams holds them in halls of thunder, streaks of lightning crackling at your feet. Now it's time. Pick them up and throw a few. For once we set fire to our ravenous curiosity, once we are consumed by a fierce hunger to uncover truth, only then can we grow far enough and become large enough to discover who we truly are? And now we are amazed. Thank you. But thank you for letting me be here today. Every time I get to do this, it's a wonderful experience for me because in 2014, my whole world changed. What happened in 2014 was I started saying yes to the universe instead of no. Instead of running away from the universe, I started running towards everything it was telling me to do. In 2014, the universe told me that I had to go volunteer at camps for children that are like me. I'm a teacher by trade. I'm an educator. I have never worked with children like me. I am a transgender woman. I volunteered at a camp in New Hampshire that the universe said, go volunteer at. I was up there for one week and met a whole new world of people. I met children 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old being their authentic selves, standing up to the system, answering the universe's demand that they be themselves at that age. 
and it shamed me. I have to be honest because I had been hiding myself from the universe for all that time, telling the universe it didn't know what it was talking about. A month after volunteering at that camp, the universe said, get out of Tennessee now. This state is the place you do not want to be. I promise you bad things are coming for the state of Tennessee. Run away now. I packed my four-door Honda Civic with everything I could shove in it, not knowing a soul, except for my two dogs and my cat. And I drove 953 miles to a new life. Started it over completely. No job, no home, nothing. The universe said, just keep saying yes to what I ask of you. Now, three years later, this is what, well, five years later, oh my goodness. Five years later, this is what's happened to me by saying yes to the universe. I have a job in a school system that knows that I'm transgender and accepts me wholeheartedly and allows me to go teach the students about what it means to be transgender. They ask me to do it. The universe says, Kelly, you now have to go do these other things. You have to go play in sports and try to be the best at it. I didn't know it at the time, but in 2014, when I was saying yes to the universe, it also told me that I needed to sign up and play as a professional disc golfer in the women's division. I was terrified. As a transgender woman playing sports, I'm like, if I win, everybody's going to say it's because I have an unfair advantage. If I lose, everybody's going to say, well, you threw it because you didn't want us to know you have an unfair advantage. But I said yes to the universe anyway. And this sport has openly accepted me. It's the sport that kept me alive. Because when I transitioned, I lost my family. I lost everything. I lost my family but I found myself. So now what's happening this next year? I have a dream. The universe has said, Kelly, take your message on the road across the states of the US, every single state that you can go to and chronicle your journey. Because when I go to each state in this nation, there's a different set of laws that impact me. There are some states that if I go to the restroom and the women's restroom in that state, I can go to jail. I can be fine. There are other states that I can be kicked out of restaurants just for sitting there being a transgender woman. So I'm going to chronicle this journey and I'm going to keep my eyes on what's happening in the world and I'm going to share this message with everyone because the universe has asked me to do it. It's terrifying. But so many wonderful things have happened again and again and again for me because I've said yes to the universe. So that's my challenge to you all. Say yes to the universe and see where it takes you. Maybe you'll end up exactly where you want to be. Thank you. This is a new song. The other week I participated in a songwriters in the round. and Part of it was that we had to write a song to a prompt from the previous month's audience. And that time the, the prompt was a little more. So this is what I came up with. Children laughing in the playground Parents by the gate Hear them calling in frustration Don't you know it's getting late Children arguing in answer Raise a chorus to explain Don't mean to disobey We only want to stay they sing this sad refrain a little more time a tiny thing to ask from the moment we arrive chapters of our lives slip by so fast a little more time feel the seconds fly not asking for a lot trying to make time stop all we want is just a chance to say goodbye lovers standing in the station so close you swear they couldn't part if you heard their secret whispers 
It might break your heart. A whistle warns departure. Conductor holds the door. You can feel the thought tearing them apart. What they're yearning for a little more time. A tiny thing to ask. From the moment we arrive, chapters of our lives slip by. So fast, a little more time. Feel the seconds fly. Not asking for a lot. Trying to make time stop all they want Just a chance to say goodbye In darkness after midnight Phone wakes me from a dream both foreseen and unexpected Leaves me spinning in midstream Staring out the kitchen window Shadows blow across the yard Nothing seems in focus Life seems like a joke As I invoke a silent god For a little more time A tiny thing to ask The moment we arrive, chapters of our lives slip by. So fast, a little more time. Feel the seconds fly. Not asking for a lot, I'm trying to make time stop. All I want, just a chance to say goodbye. Chance to say goodbye.